Hello, oh my ear. Welcome to day three of Vlogmas. Um, I've just settled down. It's, uh, you know, December 3rd, of course, and it's the evening and I've got my dinner, which is, <laughs> watch me spill it all off. Woo! On a cute little snowman plate, just fruit and cheese. And some grapes. Um, thought I'd settle down and talk to you a little bit about what's been going on. So to explain some footage <laughs> that you either have seen or will be seeing, I haven't decided how I'm doing this vlog today. Um, my street, typically on the corner that I live on, the end of the street that I live on, everybody participates in decorating for different events, but we've got people that go way out the wazoo to decorate. And uh, so it's been really funny because the typical houses will put lights up and then more people put lights up. So now we've got in our corner, we have like seven houses that have lights. And then our house had no lights and our house is really dark. So I, my husband really wanted lights up. The boys did not want to help. Um, my son, Michael, uh, he finally came out to help today and we scrabbled together a little plan. We can't staple lights around the window because the brick, I don't know how to work the brick because there's no wood around the window. It's just brick. And um, so we did the best we could and I think it looks kind of cute. At least we have lights up and we're participating. Now, does it look good? I mean, like it looks fine. Does it look like the house next door? Who I swear every day she has put more things out. I saw her, I drove off the other day and she was out there, but I didn't know she was out there. I really wanted to, when I realized right at the end, I really wanted to reverse and roll my hand out and say, what are you doing to me? But I like my neighbor, so <laughs> we're gonna do that. And it looks very pretty. She has a gorgeous house, gorgeous front yard. They work very hard and they deserve everything that they wanna do with that house. They deserve to do that because they worked very hard and they're very sweet. Um, but it's just so funny. <laughs> My son, the whole time we're putting up lights, he's like, you don't have to be like the neighbor's mom. You don't have to be better than the neighbors. You don't have to compete with the neighbors. And I was like, I know, I just, I don't want to be the Grinch house. One year I should just put all green lights up. That'd be hysterical. Um, so anyway, we got our lights up. And uh, so I should have showed you a before and after picture. And that's what that was about. It's just very funny to me. Um, what else did I get to today? I slept in very late. I have not been sleeping well the past, I think two weeks, I have not been sleeping well. And uh, I slept until 9.30 this morning and I never do that. I'm usually up around seven on the weekends and I'm up at 5.30 on the weekdays when I go into work. So it was really nice to wake up and it was full sun in our room. It was good. And then I sat around trying to upload day two of Vlogmas forever. My husband's getting a little irritated. So I'm glad I got that taken care of. Um, we went shopping. We, what else did we do? Clean out the refrigerator. Ooh, that was exciting. Um, put the Christmas lights up and I finally sat down for like 30 minutes this evening and did some knitting. I thought I had, um, a down cellar studio Patreon zoom to join in on It's tomorrow. <laughs> so I got to knit and I, I'll still get to know tomorrow. Um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. We, I'm a teacher and we have staff development tomorrow, which means the kids don't come to school, but the teachers do. And it's exciting because I know I'm going to have some time to work in my classroom, get some, I need to get the copies made. It's really exciting to know on a Sunday night that I don't have to get up and I mean, I, sorry, I don't have to work on a Sunday. I don't have to think about school on a Sunday. I don't have to formulate what I'm going to plan, you know, do the next day because the next day I can formulate what I'm going to do for the next day. So that's good. Plus our concert's over. I've got a contest coming up in March, beginning of March. I'm preparing for, trying to prepare the kids for. We've got a solo contest. So I'm going to start preparing the kids for and just the fun of, of the, winter break approaching. Next week we have tests or this coming week we have testing in the morning and that's kind of fun because it's something different. I mean the kids aren't having a great time but I'm not testing anybody. I'm just a hall monitor so I'll be having a fine time. Anyway just having a good day. 
really good. Do my happy dance. So I thought I would um, empty, I mean, open my advent for today. So um, I don't think I've been doing a decent job explaining what my advent was. I got an advent from Fiber Nymph Dye Works. She was doing a Middle Earth, what is it called? A Middle Earth Winter Holiday Countdown Collection. And um, I love The Hobbit and all things Tolkien. So I was really excited to get that. I'm looking at the wrong spot of my camera, sorry. There you are. Um, I was really excited to get that advent and the colors have been beautiful. So exclusive, excuse the crinkle because of course I'm not prepared to find day three. She put them in a potato sack, potato sack. And yesterday's clue talked about she puts in the yarn and then a little clue a little story part it says um, um it's talking about samwise gamgee's garden and how he has a heaping sack of potatoes stacked on a table he by the door and so i just think that's so cute um this is the potato sack and the tag says samwise gamgee's potatoes potatoes. <laughs> so I thought that was really funny. So today's color way oh, it's right there, is, look at the beautiful packaging. Little snowflakes on this one. Every bag has been, had different stamps on it, which I think is so cute. wonder if she hand stamps them. I mean, if she has to. They look homemade, which I like, but Wonder how many she had to make. I got the strong DK base. This clue day three, woolly warmth. Having enjoyed the Gamgee's hospitality for much of the afternoon, we venture back out to the road and continue on our way. The wind has picked up and there is a deep chill in the air. You're thankful for the bright green scarf you purchased at the market the other day when you first arrived at the Shire. Tucking it close around your neck, it does a perfect job of keeping out the cold as we continue our brisk walk to our destination. And then the yarn is green. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a, like a tonal green. It's so soft. It smells like potatoes. I'm just kidding. It doesn't look mustache. Um, so cute. So I don't know what I'm going to make with this. I have so many, like I've been looking up advent plans. I watched Nitty Natty had a really great, um, like cutesy uh, countdown to how many, I don't know, it was really cute. You have to look at it, but it was like an advent calendar, like what you should make with your advent calendars. And I want to make a blanket. I would like to make a granny square blanket or a stripe blanket, but I <laughs> I don't, I want to crochet because it's faster and I like it, but I don't know, like if I did just a stripe, this would probably be just like one stripe, right? I don't even know what this is. I think this is 20 grams. I'm assuming it's 20 grams. If I did granny squares, I just, I don't know. I've never done a granny square blanket. That's kind of what I want to do. So I might just make granny squares and then decide what I want to do with them. Because what if I don't have enough squares? I'm assuming I won't have enough squares. What if I won't have enough squares? Then what do I, what do I put with it? Even if I got, I believe I got a full skein of a neutral color to go with this or a, a coordinated color maybe to go with this um, advent calendar. Um, what if it's not enough to make a full blanket? Then I have to sub in more yarn and I'm not good at color or anything. I like to dabble. I'm a dabbler. <laughs> I have no skill or finesse or style or any of that. So I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I really want, <laughs> I want a, a fanny pack. All the cool kids, the young teachers, have fanny packs they put like on their chest. Um, and I want one and I saw a crocheted one. Wouldn't it be cool to have a crocheted granny pack made out of granny squares? Fanny pack. Fanny pack made out of granny squares? That'd be really cool. So maybe, I don't know. I'm just enjoying opening them. I, I'm not working on them now. I have other things I'm working on. So what are those other things? 
I think I could tell you if I knew where they were. I don't know. Oh, well, here, let me tell you. Okay, so let me tell you my other advent. So the other advent I have that I'm actually participating in, so I showed you the, um, the Freckled Whimsy 24 Stripe Advent Skein that I don't start with, which I got with a coordinating mini skein to make like heels, toes, and cuffs. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like babbling and thinking at the same time, never a good thing. Um, I like to do, so for the past two years, that's how long I've done an advent, I think, an advent skein. I like to do mine, I start mine on Christmas. I get my, my heels, no, sorry, I get my cuffs done because I'm a cuff down knitter. And then I do a stripe a day starting at Christmas and I try to get the pair of socks done by the end of January. Because there's nothing else, not that there's nothing else to look forward to, but you know how January is. And it's just chill after a busy Christmas season. It's just nice to have something bright and pretty to look forward to that's low stress, very easy to do. So it, I just really find it enjoyable. I can't knit fast at all. I'm still working on day one of the next Advent thing I'm working on and the clues are very small too. So I don't know, that's my plan. So the uh, other thing I'm participating in is Sarah Shira, who is Imagined Landscape on Ravelry and other places, she has a mystery gnome along. And this one is entitled Snow Matter What? And it's Mr. Knightley, G-N-I-G-H-T-L-E-Y. Yeah, I think so, Knightley. Um, all of her gnomes have G names, so which I think is cute. So I showed you my gnome bag that I have put the stuff in. I did want to show you um, one thing that I forgot about when I was showing off all my gnome things that I have. So uh, last year, I think I got this. This is a gnome pair of scissors. Do you see the gnome? Is that not adorable? Like there's this hat going around. There's this little face. There's this Siamese twin little face. I don't know, but I just think that's so cute. It makes me, <laughs> gnomes make me laugh. And um, my husband and my daughter one year surprised me for Mother's Day with like a whole bunch of garden gnome statue, little statues and a painting that my daughter had done. And it just makes me laugh so much every time I see them. I just think it's so funny. And you've seen my mantle um, where Norbert has escaped from and is off on his big adventures. But um, I just think it's funny. I don't like all gnomes. I will tell you my front porch gnomes are not my favorite gnomes, but I do like gnomes. I think they're cute and funny. So I wanted to show you that, but I'm, I've am i finished part of clue one. So if you haven't um, completed your clue one, Please look away. So this is mystery bit number one. There's the mystery bit. And then, it's pretty. Um, oh, I think it has my tech. Where did my, I just threw my knitting down somewhere. Oh, here is mystery bit number two that I have one more row to finish on. But my father-in-law, he lives with me, he was coming out to the kitchen to get food and I was fixing to give him dinner. So I had to run out there because <laughs> I just threw it down. So mystery bit number two, I've got one more row to do and then I don't know what these are. They look like skirts, hat cuffs. I don't know, maybe it's big socks. Well then for clue two, it was a story, um, which I can't, I'm not gonna share because that's her story, but it's so cute. She uses Fisher Price um, toys and uh, little house, uh, you know, doll houses and her stuff, you know, her knitted gnomes and they, the stories are adorable. Like that's, what I want my life to be is that kind of land. And since I got the, um, what do you call it? The Loopy U like addition advent <laughs> that goes with the gnome knit along. Today, I got to open a clue yesterday, which now I can't even remember what it was. 
When I remember, I'll tell you. And then I opened a clue today and it was a French knitter. So a French knitter, and it's green, my favorite color. A French knitter is a little tube. Some of my family watch this and they don't knit, so. Um, you put, you, you put the, you wrap yarn in some weird configuration around here, and then pull it down, it, it comes with a cutesy little, I've never done this before, I, I'm just surmising, I've seen some things. You pull the yarn down, so the yarn's gonna come out here, so pretend this is a yarn tail, and it comes out, and it's an eye cord, which would look like um, a hoodie cord, like a, or a hoodie string, or ten, tennis shoe strings, you know, ties, shoe strings. So this is a cool way to make eye cord, and then you don't have to knit it. So I'm assuming that clue three is some kind of eye cord business, but I don't know, because I haven't done it, because I'm still working on clue one. So, I think that's really cute. Um, if you're watching and for my family, one year I gave the nieces and the nephews, we made, I made them out of toilet paper rolls and popsicle sticks and yarn. And I gave the kids that so they could do it on our travels because we were traveling somewhere. I can't remember where as a big family group. So you've seen a knitted, a knitted, a French knitter made by Susie and American, um, the American knitter. Uh, anyway, so you've seen it before, so you kind of know what it was. But anyway, so that was cute. I love opening little gifts for me. Um, and then my last thing I want to show you today. Let me make sure this is what it is. Oh, this isn't what I was going to show you, but now I'm going to show you. Is a hat that I made for my um, future daughter-in-law, my son is madly in love with this beautiful young woman. And uh, he says she loves burgundy and pink. I talked about this on a vlog, but I finished the hat. Now the hat is ginormous and I haven't blocked it. Maybe it'll look better when it's blocked. This is, I don't even know the title of this hat, but I explained it on the other vlog. I don't wanna go and get it. So um, it's ginormous, but it fits my big old head looks really cute. It's kind of slouchy a little bit. And I think it won't mess up her hair. Oh, where's the tag? And I, I had um, uh, Yarnable, my yarn subscription, they had given last month, I think, um, some yarn tags. So it says made with love and it looks all professional. Well, it would look professional if I had blocked my hat. But anyway, I hope she likes it. I hope it's not too big. I'll put pictures up my son wearing it. Um, Cause it's, it's pretty, it's pretty big, but I'm giving it to her anyway. And then I'm making her uh, fingerless gloves, I think, which I haven't started yet. I hope she doesn't watch this, but I'm pretty sure she didn't. So I think I'm good. I make, it's a beautiful, this yarn's called Sweet Pea. And, oh, the pattern was called Nature's Walk. That's why, because I, I did it for the Q2 challenge. You had to do something out of nature for uh, the pigskin party. And so this was my Q2 challenge. You had to do something from nature. So it's Sweet Pea uh, yarn, the colorway is Sweet Pea yarn. And the hat is called Nature's Walk. And I held um, fingering weight double and it made a beautiful squishy hat. Uh, I wish I could have followed the pattern a little bit better, but you know how it goes. All right, you guys have a great day and I will talk to you on day four.